The moment I fell in love with soccer is basically because of my family. My dad played soccer, I come from a soccer family, so it was like a no-brainer to them. I was very lucky and I, and I say it all the time, sometimes you just need luck. Oh, what a through ball for Raheem Edwards. Opportunity here. Uh, I remember the conversation I had with my mom was, uh, she was signing me up, uh, I think it was in a mall. And I was crying, kicking and screaming because I wanted to play tackle football. And thank God she put me in soccer because I'm here now and I'm playing a professional game. First couple of years it went good. I did really, really well with the Hell's League. Then you get bumped up to something called All-Star, which is a level above. Did one year in All-Star and then I made it to Rep, which is basically the highest playing experience that you could have for as a, as a young kid in, in Canada. We had a new coach of the Canadian national team at the time, Octavio. He recommended me to try out for Toronto FC. I was kind of hesitant. I, said, I told him actually no. I just went to college soccer and um, I ended up being one of the best players, if not the best players. And that's, I think, when I kind of knew that I was taking the right steps. I went and tried out in 2015, I believe, in Bradenton, Florida, and I started to feel a lot more confidence, and a lot more confidence, and after, eventually, I cracked that door open, and after they gave me a contract. My first game I ever debuted was against Sporting Kansas City. It was just a blur. It was really, really uh, exciting, fun time for me and my family, and yeah, it was just one of those moments where I was like, wow, I'm really here goes by really quick. You blink and then you're in year eight. I know a lot of people used to say that to me when I was like my first year in MLS and I used to be like, ah, no, this, this is not true, but it's very true. It goes by really quick. I feel like with the path to MLS, it's through Academy or through MLS Next Pro. My way was so unconventional. Mine wasn't like cookie cutter. I was very lucky and I, and I say it all the time, sometimes you just need luck.